yeah so as you can see even after the session was terminated we are able to resume our training from the point where it got stuck at last training hey guys i hope you all are doing great in this video i'm going to show you how to resume your training if it got stuck in between while training your model in yolo v5 so without any further ado let's get started as you can see over here i've just started my training it's on third epoch out of 149 so yeah uh, now let's just interrupt the execution yeah uh, now let's say we have to resume this training so what we can do is that uh, just comment this out and copy this python train.py okay and then just paste it over here and write dash dash resume that's it and just run it okay it's working yeah so if you if you remember i've just interrupted my training from third epoch and it started from third epoch onward so what this resume command does is that it goes inside this yolo v5 folder inside runs train exp waits and over here it searches for last.pt and uh, what this last.pt file is whenever uh, one epoch gets completed for example let's say uh, here when this third epoch was completed uh, the progress uh, which was uh, the progress uh, that is uh, been achieved on third epoch was stored in this file now if uh, if this fourth epoch will complete uh, as you can see it's completed now uh, this uh, fourth epoch's progress will be stored inside this last.pt i mean uh, after every epoch uh, this file gets replaced by new last.pt and that last.pt will be the last epoch that is uh, over here before getting stuck so uh you you just have to write this uh, resume command or let's say if it's not working then search for this last.pt uh, manually and uh, copy the path of this file now let's just interrupt this it once again let's just interrupt it and as you can see i was uh, interrupted it on i just interrupted it on fifth epoch so now let's say it's not working for any reason then search this last.pt file manually and copy the path and just paste this path over here okay as you can see content yolo file runs train exp wait and then last.pt and just run it okay now you can see yeah it works both the way it works in both the way whether you write just resume or uh, you also you also specified the path of that last.pt file okay so as you can see uh, our epoch got stuck on uh, 6th epoch and it started from 6th epoch onward okay now let's say uh, we have some connection issue connections issues let's say uh, we we have some connection issues or any uh, that sort of issue and because of which our session got interrupted so i'll just terminate our session factory set runtime now whenever our uh, session is interrupted uh, this yolo v5 folder just disappear it's because uh, we are using the session storage now if you have to retrieve your uh, training from uh, any point so uh, you have to store that yolo v5 folder inside uh, somewhere that you can retrieve so uh, instead of using the session storage which just which just uh, gets disappeared after uh, the session gets terminated we'll use the drive storage okay we'll use the drive instead of using the session so for that we'll just uh, yeah we'll just drive mount our drive uh, after clicking on this uh, drive button you will get this drive uh, block this block of code and just run this block of code and connect to google drive click on the account and allow it 
and your die your drive will be mounted successfully okay yeah your drive yeah here is your drive now just comment this out after mounting the drive now just cut this uh, first three line and create the code and paste it over here now what we'll do is that uh, we'll just create yolo v5 folder inside our drive so that whenever our session gets terminated uh, our yolo v5 folder is safely stored inside our drive uh, it will not be disappeared uh, just uh, like the uh, session storage which gets disappeared every time the session is uh, terminated so we'll firstly uh, change our directory to drive okay my drive copy the path and change directory and my drive we'll just comment this out and we'll run this statement to change the directory to my my drive okay. uh, now now we are inside my drive and here here we gonna clone the github folder of yolo v5 okay yeah it's done now yeah it's done just refresh it and as you can see we've got this yolo v5 folder inside our drive now change the directory to yolo v5 folder uh, just copy the path of yolo v5 and change directory to yolo v5 uh, just i'll just comment this out okay now change the directory to yolo v5 now we are inside this yolo v5 folder so let's say uh, if we have any connection issue or whatsoever then the session storage will disappear but our drive storage will be safe inside our drive okay so uh, this yolo v5 folder will be as it is now uh, as you can see here we, we, we do not have any runs folder over here it's because we haven't uh, started our training till now once we start our training uh, the runs folder gets created itself and uh, every mm, every progress of our model gets stored inside that runs folder okay so i'll just uh, run it real quick run everything i'll just fast forward that setup is completed now flow flow importing the database yeah now uh, we'll just uh, comment this resume part and we'll just uh, run the no training in a normal way okay Okay, our training just started now let's just wait till second or third epoch and after that i'll show you uh, how to resume it even after the session is terminated okay let's just wait till third epoch And as you can see, after after starting our training, the runs folder created, the runs folder was created. So 
Lord Ock. Okay, so now just remember I'm gonna interrupt this uh, training and just remember that we have interrupted our training on the third book. Okay, so interrupt execution or just uh, I'll just uh, factory reset the runtime that will just uh, terminate the session. And as you can see, uh, every file over here is dis uh, disappeared once again, and uh, our training got stuck on third book. Now let's just let's just mount our drive once again uh, let's just reconnect and mount our drive once our training got stuck on third epoch uh, now let's resume it okay uh, so we'll just mount our drive yeah once again click on click over here and just run this code in order to mount our drive yeah and our drive is mounted successfully just i'll just uh, comment this code and now as you can see we already have this yolo v5 folder that we have just created in the last uh, training so this time we don't have to uh, clone this uh, github yolo v5 folder because we we've already cloned it over here and uh, inside it we have all our uh, progress stored inside the weights folder inside last.pt so yeah uh, we'll just uh, change our directory to we'll just change our directory to this yolo v5 folder uh, don't forget to change your directory because uh, this is the most important part inside drive yolo v5 okay uh, copy the path and just paste it over here okay uh, this is the command to change the directory i hope you all know and just run it Okay, now we are inside the YOLO v5 folder and as uh, we have terminated our session, uh, we have to run this all over now from starting. I just run it real quick. Yeah, then import the database. Yeah, uh, now we'll just comment this out and uh, now uh, we already have this last.pt file over here so we will just copy the path and uh, just firstly we'll copy this over here python train.py now we'll copy the path and resume it from this file okay just uh, copy this over here python train.py write this dash dash resume command and specify the uh, location of last.pt file and just run it and as i've said uh, uh, it will start training from third epoch on third epoch onward from where we have just left it in last training okay from last training it's working
Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, even after the session was terminated, we are able to resume our training from the point where it got stuck at last training. So I hope you've learned something new in this video. If you did, then make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you'll never miss any further updates.